Hello, Princess. I see you. Come in. Hi, Dad. Hello, Princess. How are you? Good. A lot of work. Well, you look lovely. <laughs> Can I pour you some wine? Yes. Thank you. Oh, there we are. I'll get dinner ready. Another fact that she's a repeat offender. Well, you can only imagine how that makes my defense more difficult. Anyway, this is my first big court case, and aren't you interested in any of this? Hmm? Of course I am. Why would you say that? <laughs> I was just thinking of my first case. The courtroom, the jury, all that intimidation. I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> you know, I feel like I can defend any case now, even the most circumstantial ones. I know, I know. I made this just for you. <laughs> what? You still don't think I can cook as well as your mother? <laughs> About mom. Do you have any news? Why? Should I? She called me from Paris yesterday. She worries about you. And you? Don't you want to know how I'm doing? I'm going to die soon. Stop that. You know very well this is the truth, don't you? Look, we're not there yet. Well, we'll be there very soon. You know it and I know it. Please. You scared me when you say things like that. Don't you think I'm the one who should be scared? I'm sorry. You've always been afraid of death. I remember when you were just a little girl. Anyway, is that any reason to cover your face? I'm not a little girl anymore. And I do not cover my face. You don't? You just did. You are following your treatment. Conscientiously. You have all the chances of getting through this. All the chances in hell. You know very well this is terminal. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to go through this argument again. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Princess. A few coins for a poor dying man. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, sorry, ma'am. That's all right. Excuse me. That's all right. A few coins for a poor dying man. Please, ma'am. Oh, we all have to die one day. I'm sorry. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
Hello? Oh, hi, Princess. No, no, I was... I was just reading. I'm sorry about the other day. I'm under so much pressure these days and... Yes, yes, honey, I, I understand. I, I feel so guilty. You don't have to apologize. Now, Dad, tell me. What's going to happen? Are you sure you want to know? Yes, Dad, I, I do want to know. After the arms and the legs, the entire respiratory system breaks down and... Yes, I'm seeing my Cairo regularly. Do you really believe it will change anything? Dad? What's... Dad, hello? <laughs> Dad, what's going on? Are you okay? I know, dear. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. So what is it? Things are going to move along quickly now, Sarah, and, and the pain will grow. When I reach the terminal phase... Stop this, please. Can, can we sit for a moment, dear? Sarah, when I reach the terminal phase, my last hours... My last days are going to be terrible. The doctors know it, and I know it. And there's nothing that can be done to stop it. Not morphine, not caring, not hope, nothing. Sarah, I don't want to die like that. I don't want to die asphyxiated and paralyzed, and I know there's nothing I can do about it. What is it? Death with dignity. One vial, Princess. That's all it takes. No pain, no suffering. What? You want me to do it? You want me to kill you? I'm asking you to help me go with dignity and without suffering. I would do the same for you if you asked. You would accept killing me? For love, I would. If you love me, Sarah, please. I've never thought I would see this. The great Jack Armstrong, a coward. Why don't you do it yourself? You're the prosecutor, after all. I would, if I could. Once the pain and the suffering sets in, I, I won't be able to move. I won't be capable. Sarah, I don't want to die until then. I don't want to lose the time we have left. Do you understand? This is wrong, Dad. Whatever made you think I would ever accept doing such a thing? I'm, s I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't know what I was thinking. I I I'm just so lost. I, I, didn't, I didn't... Here, give me that. No, I keep it. Give it a chance, Dad. Give us a chance. There is still hope. I'm so afraid. Don't be, Dad. I'm here for you. We will fight this thing together.
Daddy, uh, it's all right. Uh, uh, I called the hospital. No. Uh, uh, you don't want I call? No. Uh, uh, help me, please. princess I know you can hear me that you can feel me please forgive me I've been so selfish and distant I should have given a relationship a chance all I really wanted was for you to be proud of me. That's why I became a lawyer, Daddy. That's why I came back from France. To be close to you. When you fell ill, I closed my eyes. I turned away. I refused to accept the fact that I might lose you forever. How will I live without you now? Alone. What will I do? Already I miss you so very much. You know, I often think about the day you and mom separated. About the final divorce. I remember that small Paris apartment alone with her and spending my summers here with you. <laughs> I was so young and naive then. I hated September, even though I was happy to see mom. I hated leaving you for another long winter. I remember the first time I saw you in court. Jack Armstrong, the great prosecutor. Your talent, your charisma, your conviction. 
I was so proud to be your daughter. And I still am. I know you would have liked to see me married. To have given you and children to spoil. To give you hope. It will come. And I will tell them how wonderful and honorable their grandfather was. Why didn't you tell me you were not my real father? Why? <laughs> Did you think I would stop loving you? But I always knew. Inside, I knew. When mom told me, I had to pretend to be surprised. You know, I met him a few years ago. My real father. Just to find out, to know. After a few minutes with this man, I knew. And you, you are my true daddy. I will be strong. You can live in peace now. I think I've never told you. Ridiculous, isn't it? I love you. Hello? It's for me? Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're going to be right. Thank <laughs> you.